Webheads, it's like a flippin' game show up in here with all these flashing lights. But you know what? It's time to get serious as I'm here to discuss with you my top 10 most anticipated Marvel comics for May. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions of what comic books to buy, and today, guys, I'm going to be bringing you my top 10 most anticipated Marvel comics that are coming out for the month of May 2021, that's right, those solicitations just dropped a couple days ago, I went through them and I'm here to show you which ones I'm most anticipating, so guys, before we get started, if you want to help support Comic Book Corner 2.0, all you got to do is hit that join button right there on my home screen, again, it's as easy as 1, 2, 3, it helps support the channel. Channel. And as always, guys, thank you all so much who take the time to watch, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and all that jazz. So, guys, let's not waste any more time and let's get started with this countdown. All right, so with all the books that are coming out, it's hard to whittle it down to 10. So, I actually have like 14 books to talk about, so these next four books or so are going to be like an honorable mention or just let you know that they exist out there. And this one, first one, is going to surprise you because the first one we're going to be talking about is The Amazing Spider-Man issue 66. This is the first book on the honorable mention list. Yeah, this book has dropped for me. I have not been happy when it comes to The Amazing Spider-Man. The writer is obviously Nick Spencer. The artwork and the cover art in this particular story arc is going to be Mark Bagley. This is the beginning of a new story arc. This is on the other side of that King's Ransom story arc that's going on right now with the Kingpin. So again, if you're looking to jump back on board with Spider-Man or you're looking for the story to improve, this might be a book for you. 32 pages, $3.99. All right, the next honorable mention book is going to be The Fantastic Four. This is issue 32 written by Dan Slott and R.B. Sylvia is the artist here now same thing this starts a new story arc as well with the series i recently just jumped on board with fantastic four and so far from the two issues that i've actually read i've quite enjoyed it uh it's still not on my oh my god you must read this list and always i'm a little bit wary when it comes to dan slot but with decent artwork and some solid writing from these last two issues i'm definitely going to pick it up this is a story that has to do with the human torch and his current Current girlfriend and his ex fiance or wife, right? Um, which, which was the scroll, the female scroll. So that could be an interesting little love triangle in there. Dr. Doom's going to be in this book. So this could be interesting. This one is 40 pages and this is a $5 book. All right. So the next one on the list is X Men Legends issue four. Uh, hard to believe, you know, at this point, issue one just dropped. And I think it's okay having to deal with the Summers Brothers, but the story itself didn't just blow me away. I love the artwork, but we're not going to get uh, Brett Booth on the artwork every single issue. So I don't know if this story or this series is going to hold up, uh, but I'm still going to pick it up. Uh, and we'll see what happens with it. So, yeah, we'll see. All right. And then the next one we're going to be talking about before we move on to the official top 10 is the Guardians of the Galaxy issue 14. At this point in time, I think we're getting the new team here. Uh, this is written by Al Ewing and the artwork is done by Juan Fregari, if I said that right. So, we have... I guess it's half the team, and the team is huge now, right? Can consists of like a super scroll, and like Doctor Doom is going to be in there, and so there's a lot of stuff that's going on in Guardians of the Galaxy where you might want to pick this book up and see the direction that it's going to, uh, or if it's going to lead into some kind of other cosmic event or something like that, but. Uh, I have not read Guardians in a while. I'm going to be picking it up again with this team to see if it has something there to offer. So there are your books that are on the honorable mention list that you might 
think about picking up. All right, Webhead, so officially kicking off. Number 10, this one goes to Heroes Reborn issue one of seven. It looks like we're going to be getting Heroes Reborn books out every single week when it comes to Marvel. So, you know, if you're burnt out on events and you don't want to deal with another event, you might want to skip this. This is like a regurgitated, uh, you know event that's coming out again to you know bring back nostalgia if you're around for the first heroes reborn we'll see where it goes i'll definitely check out this first issue the first issue is quite pricey it does has 56 pages it's six dollars and this is a world where you know tony stark never built the iron man armor right there's no avengers so what's going to happen is this going to be worth the read for you know our viewers out there i'm curious to see what you guys think of heroes reborn when it comes out is it going to exceed the expectations i don't know but again there's issue one of seven six dollars are you going to be checking it out Coming in at number nine, and number nine goes to Miles Morales Spider-Man issue six, written by Saladin Ahmed, and Carmen Carnero does the artwork, and this is titled The Clone Saga Continues. Now, it looks like issue 25 kicks off this Clone Saga story, and I just don't know what to expect out of this as of right now when it comes to Miles Morales' clone saga. So here's the description that it gives us right now. Two Spider-Man find themselves face-to-face -face with the three terrifying clones. Peter thought he knew what to expect out of a clone saga, but this one throws him for a loop and Miles into the deep end of the ocean. Miles tries to keep his spider side away from the rest of his life, but this time he's got no say in the matter 32 pages and it's four dollars so it looks like we're getting multiple spider-man here uh I, I just don't know i mean i i have not been able to get into this version of miles morales um spider-man i've tried it so many times and i just been let down i found the story repetitive now we're getting again Another version of the Clone Saga. Again, it's just a, a an event that's been done before, and they're they're redoing it again somehow. Uh, but again, it piques my curiosity. I want to see what the story is. I want to give it the benefit of doubt. I'm hoping that it's going to be good. So we'll see what happens with this one. Coming in at number eight, this is a celebration of these characters' 60th anniversary, and this one goes to the Fantastic Four life story. This is issue one of six, written by Mark Russell. Sean Azekis is the artist in this series, and... Even though Chip Sardarsky is not writing this, I'm still very curious to see what this version of the life story is going to be like for the Fantastic Four. I really enjoyed Chip Sardarsky's Spider-Man's life story, so I want to see, if, again, if this is very comparable to that or if it's going to be boring or whatnot. So I feel like this can only work for so many characters. I can see this working for the Fantastic Four because they've been around for eons and there's a lot of stories that they can dive into. So this one is 40 pages and this one is a $4.99 book comic. Moving on to number seven, we have Black Cat issue six. That's right, Black Cat is back after the whole Null situation. She's back on her own story arcs again. Jed McKay is the writer and Michael Doling is the artist. Don't underestimate Black Cat, guys. Her series that had to do with King and Black was really well done. And when it was... When the series was out before King and Black, it was a great book. It really, uh, really shows what the character is about, who the people she works with is, a little bit of her history. It's a gorgeous book to look at. And uh, I think this is going to be a sleeper series. I don't know if anybody's going to give it a chance, but I'm definitely going to go back with it. Black Cat is working with the Black Fox. They complete a heist, and it looks like Spider-Man's going to be guest starring in this particular book, and he's not going to be happy with what Felicia has done. So again, guys, give this one a chance if you haven't. If you're a Spider-Man fan, I think you're going to like it. So this one is 32 pages, and this one is $4. 
Man, this cracks me up, like how far in the future we are on this. I've still, at this point, only read issue one and i really enjoyed it i think issue two is coming out very soon uh but this one coming in at number six goes to maestro warren pax we're on the conclusion and by the time may comes around and uh the first issue of this where we had maestro go against machine man was absolutely awesome and machine man gets the one up on him and so here we're on issue five and based off of the cover here it looks like that maestro is going against dr doom this could be a very exciting read and i think peter david has done a great job at fleshing out the maestro character and uh the description here it says the maestro thought he knew his enemy he thought he was facing a band of gods the truth is so much worse so yeah great book a lot of action great artwork definitely pick this one up guys all right so coming in at number five this book was announced earlier in the week or i guess by the time you see this video last week this is star wars war of the bounty hunters alpha issue one this is the star wars comic event you have been waiting for that's right the notorious bounty hunter boba fett has finally landed his greatest prize han solo but man it doesn't go right for him because eventually i think what happens in this book is that he loses the carbonite and all the other bounty hunters are after him because they know that that bounty is so high for han solo that they'll do anything and stop anybody to get it to get that good huge ass payday right so this looks like it can be a lot of fun this actually takes place through all the other star wars comic books so this is star wars um first major event i guess you want to say and it's perfect because it doesn't go it's it, it's better than any other character like boba fett that's awesome man right i love boba fett and uh i love to see this story happen and this takes place of course between uh empire strikes back and return of the jedi so definitely check this one out 32 pages four dollars webheads all right, so coming in at number four, this one goes to the Immortal Hulk. This is issue 46. That's right, Webheads. We're getting super close to this series ending. It's going to end at issue 50. That should take place in October as long as there's no delays. Al Ewing is the writer. Joe Bennett is the artist. And Alex Ross does the cover art just like he's been doing all along. And this looks like there's all kinds of monsters maybe let's let's read the description here it says we thought they were dead we thought they'd been banished controlled made harmless we were wrong the gamma monsters are coming back converging one by one on new york city and who can save us from the immortal hulk i don't know but all as i know is that this book is freaking badass and I love the horrific tones to it and this whole entire story. It's been so good and when it ends, I'm going to be disappointed that there will be no more Immortal Hulk ongoing series. Will we get continuous one shots or what will happen with the character going forward? I don't know. I don't know if I can go back to just stupid Hulk again, right? So we'll see what happens. It's 32 pages. And it is $4. Next, Webheads, moving on to number three. This is a book that's probably in my top five every time it comes out. This is Daredevil. This is issue 30, uh, written by Chip Sardarsky. And the artist is done by Marco Cicchetto. The art is just phenomenal. Electra looks gorgeous. I love the wild hair. And this is titled Doing Time Continues. So it looks like Matt is still going to be in jail. He makes a... Uh, a ally that you wouldn't expect in prison so that's kind of cool and then wilson fisk supposedly gets a phone call that uh you've been waiting for so what what is this phone call maybe he gets the phone call saying that daredevil is innocent and he can be daredevil again like i don't know what happens but I think this is a great book. I love how Elektra is Daredevil right now, and she's trying to figure out how to be Daredevil, but her in her own way. Oh my gosh, this book is so good. If you're not reading it, I definitely say pick this book up, guys. It reads awesome in trade. You'll get caught up in like a couple of days because it's that good. You won't put it down. But when this issue comes out in May, check this one out. 32 pages, $4. 
All right, so we're so close to number one, but before we get to that, we have to talk about number two, and number two is a pretty good book in itself as well, and this is X-Men. This is issue 20, and it's uh, all it says is system online processing. So it looks like this book is going back to some of the original stories when Hickman's X-Men first came out, which I'm very excited about. If you see this cover, it has Nimrod on there, and we can see that Nimrod was basically practically the destruction of the mutants and uh, they thought they may have killed him off but that's not the case he's online at least we think so but I would love if they go back to the earlier days of House of X and Powers of 10 and uh, start you know revisiting those storylines that we haven't seen in so so long so that's why this one is so high on my list and uh we'll see what happens with it 32 pages and this one is four bucks all right webhead so we finally made it we made it to number one and my number one most anticipated marvel comic for the month of may goes to spider-man spider shadow issue two of four this is what if Peter Parker became Venom? This story just sounds so interesting to me. Of course, it's written by Chip Zdarsky, so why wouldn't it? And uh, even though I haven't read the first issue, this just piques my interest so high. And I can't wait to read it. And here's what the description says. Spider-Man's vicious new approach to crime has every villain on high alert. No one is safe as Peter succumbs further to his dark powers. Wilson Fisk wants to put an end to this deadly new Spidey once and for all. But who is really the one coordinating this takedown attempt? And with Peter hunted more by his past each day, will someone be able to save him from his own mind? 32 pages and this is four dollars that's right guys peter parker's down going down the dark side who's gonna stop him mary jane i don't know we'll see what happens this just looks like a creepy ass book very dark this is something i definitely want to read and i just can't wait for it man i can't wait there you have it, Webheads. There are my top 10 most anticipated Marvel comics for the month of May. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Are there any books that you're looking forward to in the month of May? Or is that just too far ahead for you? And uh, guys, leave me all those comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. And uh, if you want to check out more content, I'll leave it right here for you. Actually, I'll leave you the top 10 most anticipated Marvel comics for the month of April. And until next time, webheads, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And I'll see you guys real soon. Take care, everyone.